What's up, y'all? I got a banger from the Poor Man's Podcast Reacts. Let's get straight into it. Who the hell sends pictures of your kids to your ex about a car? Because he was there for me when your ass was in Arizona. Of course. Well, if you'd stop laying on your back for other guys, maybe I wouldn't have to leave. I don't. She told me on my birthday that she wanted me to come home. And I asked her, I said, well, if you're going to, if you want me to come home, you're going to be honest with me. And she tells me that same day that she six different guys in a two month period. A pot smoking slut. Oh, two months. Oh, God. Yes. yes. And I true. was honest with him. It's true. Okay. Bro, what, what is this look? Is this like the, is this like the Alabama Peaky Blinders? Shots fired! Shots fired! Got like the Oakley mowing glasses on with the big undercut. What is going on? That's true. Okay. Carrie, what's making you emotional? Pretty much everything. Bro, it was just a mistake. She literally getting her fucking... The buck, 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 little... <laughs> Okay, okay, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to skip. I got to skip that. Layla, <laughs> Layla. <laughs> Not the influencers who's got half a billion followers on social media just got engaged, and this is her ring. What do you think? Here's the truth: an engagement ring must hurt a man financially to prove that he has long-term intention. So I wasn't going to reply to this video, but here's why I think it's important that I do. This video actually pissed me off. Now I get nothing but frickin' massive diamonds on my explore page. Now you're out here putting a downer on people's engagements, saying my ring isn't good enough. But let's just clarify. My ring is- I'm sorry, but how does a ring correlate to how much a man loves you? Getting a ring at all. A good woman's okay with just getting a ring. Doesn't matter how big it is. Like the girl the other day, we did a previous episode. She's like, I want a 200K ring. Like what? Stupid. You're not worth that. You're work a, worth a Cracker Jack box ring. <laughs> you know, you open it up and it's got a little plastic on it. Are those little gumball machines? You know what I'm talking about? Enough for you, but it is for me. See, you don't she's know. feminine, fit, like, th preach, girl. How much my ring cost based on one picture. Facts. Even if it did cost $100, I'd still love it. Love does not grow on how much you spend on a ring. Facts. But thank you for trying to wreck my engagement with your unkind... She looked like she living her best life. She out by the pool. Looks like she in a resort. Like, hey, do you, boo-boo. So the next time you comment on someone's engagement ring, do yourself What's a that man's crack out? and stop. Not everyone wants a massive fucking diamond. Ooh. Some people just want a best friend for life. That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. <laughs> yeah, I think she forgot that the value of the marriage is more important than the value of the ring. She just said that the ring must be so expensive that it has to hurt a man financially to prove that he has long-term intentions. Isn't that what the marriage is for? Like, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like that That's what the marriage is for. The long-term intentions is me putting a ring on your finger and saying, hey, I'm going to be liable, especially if you don't make her sign a prenup. I'm going to be liable that if you get bored of me and you want to leave me, you can take half of my stuff. That's enough of a long-term commitment to me. I don't know what and it is. And that's fact. Are you a right-wing extremist? No. I'm actually just a normal dude from 20 years ago. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. And He's got uh, a point. Yes, the women have all been. Shout insane. out Andrew Wilson, man. I haven't I haven't uh, reacted to uh, some of his content in a hot minute. Shout out to Andrew. If that has happened. Yes, but I'm saying in today's society, women have more influence on non-physical types of ways through what? politics and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't disagree, but ultimately they only have that sway men allow them to <laughs> through enforcement. And if men collectively, because they've had this before, but it's not men they had it in Iran. Too. They had it in Iran. They had women's liberation in Iran until the Iranian, and they were in politics and they had sway until the Iranians went, no, and took all that shit away. And they can't do anything about it. But you can have a revolution inside of a nation by men. That's done all the time. And they're able to take rights or give rights. That's just the way the world works. And one of the blind spots of feminism is, I don't know why, but they can't seem to see that. They can't seem to see that this perpetual egalitarianism is worthless because you can never really achieve it anyway. So I, don't, I don't know why they're striving towards it. Why so can't you get as close to it as possible? Well, <laughs> you can you can try to get as close to whatever you want as possible, but these outcomes that we're seeing on your pathway there certainly don't seem great. 
It doesn't seem like it was a great idea to wreck the nuclear family. That seems like a really fucking bad idea. Facts. And they did. It doesn't seem like it's a good idea to try to make men and women compete in the workforce. That seemed like a really fucking bad idea. Mm -hmm. These are not good ideas for society, and they haven't worked out very well. Well, I mean, you see this all the time, dude. You see this all the time. Women getting on social media complaining about, I don't want to have to work as hard. Where's a man? I want a man to take care of me. Like, women are realizing that feminism is expensive. It's not easy being alone. And I know you guys want to be independent, which is cool. Hey, we're all about it. A lot of men are going their own way anyways. But you're starting to realize that being independent is very expensive. You have to trade a lot of your time for money. Most people don't know how to make passive income. Most people are trading time for money. We have a finite amount of time. You're trading it for money. Therefore, when you want to go out and do things you want to do, you have a very, you have a very, very small amount of time to go do those things. And most of the time, you're too tired to even go do them. Modern women, it seems like, and feminists are like prioritizing their careers. And then by the time they get older, they're just not fulfilled because I think biologically instinctually through nature that women are meant to have children they're meant to you know provide a motherhood and be empathetic and nurturing and that that gives them their value whereas men we build our resources that gives us our value right you ask you ask what's a high value man six feet six figures six inches like we need to have a certain aesthetic but our money matters just as much as our looks but with women what's a high value woman someone that's fit feminine friendly cooperative submissive no kids quaint uplifting empathetic energetic or uh what was it I can't remember the other E in like nurturing and natural. That's what we care about. Your youth, your fertility, your beauty. Like that's what we care about. Whereas men, we have to go out there and conquer the world and make a bunch of money. And that's where we derive our value from. So for the, for the independent ladies out there, I think they're starting to wake up and realize like this stuff sucks. Like it's not fun going to work. There's a lot of bricklayers that are men that don't like going to work, but they do it because they have families and they step up because they know they have to provide. Like in my neighborhood, I have neighbors that they have like four and five kids. Like one of my neighbors has like four kids. He's the only one that works. His wife stays at home, which I think is smart because you know how expensive childcare is right now? Well, it's like 1500 a kid a month. You want to put all four kids in there? That's like four grand a month that you're spending on just child care. It's much cheaper to have your wife stay there. And then your kids are getting the influence from your wife. Because the thing is, one thing I don't like about um, daycare is that you're going to let a stranger raise your child. They're spending all this time with a stranger. And then it's traumatic for kids to be separated from their parents. I think it's much better if you can have a stay at home mom. She can raise the child, teach them the family morals teach them the family ethics and bestow onto them the values that you have as a family. I think that's much more valuable and much better than sending them to daycare to be raised by a stranger that's watching over 12 other kids. So they can't give them a, that, that TLC, that tender love and care, that time, attention and detail to raise them in a certain way. So therefore, by the time you get them back, when you're like, you know, five or six and they're going to school, they've already had uh, kids or kids at that age with Bloom's taxonomy. I used to be a teacher, by the way, um, which is why I know this. But Bloom's taxonomy is like the hierarchy of learning. When kids are at their youngest, their brains are the spongiest. They pick up on these things. This is why kids pick up and do things that their parents do. Right. They're very malleable. So when you're letting your kid be around somebody else, they're picking up on their traits. They're not picking up on yours. Would you rather your child be more like you or would you rather your child be more like a stranger or a daycare, someone that's wa watching them at daycare. Don't worry, I'll wait. Let me know in the comments. What would you rather your child's values, ethics, morals be? Would you rather have them be more aligned with you or be more aligned with a daycare that this daycare lady or, or whoever it is is watching 12 other kids? You let me know. Personally, I think most of you guys would say I'd rather them have my morals, ethics, and values. But I could be wrong. Um, let's get back to Andrew. On the... But... It, it's like most of these are on the basis of your objective or not objective your subjective morality like you think that like what it's so much worse because those children are coming out mentally ill because they have single mothers maybe they're way more able to take on opportunities with confidence or something like that because they're um Stupid. They are less prone to being. Wait submissive. a minute! Did, did she just say single moms? Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. Run that back! Run that back! You a single We looked over the stats the other day of um, single moms and um, guys. It's not pretty. It's like seventy percent of homelessness. 
80% of high school dropouts, 60% of violent criminals like single mothers historically have not done the best job of raising these children. Single fathers do really well. And it's mainly not just single moms, but it's fatherless homes. So men, we need to be held accountable as well. We need to stop going out there and squeegeeing in all these girls and having a bunch of illegitimate babies in non-nuclear families. As men, we need to be better. But women also need to pick better. So men, stop blowing your cheese in these girls that you're not going to marry and, and have a family with because you're creating a society of degenerates. We need to stay with these women. If you want to have children, I believe you should be married first and then you should have to carry. And then if you don't want to marry, I don't think you should carry. It's as simple as that. Like statistically, kids just have a much lower chance of being successful in a single mother household and having a fatherless home. I know I almost became a statistic because I didn't have a dad. It was just my mom and a mom can't do it all. She has to work and she has to raise me like it's so hard. So I got raised a lot by my grandparents. I got taught to drive by my grandfather. And so now I drive like a grandpa. Cass gives me a hard time all the time. You drive like a grandpa. Well, that's how I was taught to drive. That's just what I know. So a lot of the morals, ethics, and values I have are from the wisdom of an older man because my dad at the time was my grandfather. So he taught me a lot of those values and ethics and things. He instilled those in me. And so that's why that's why people, I, I've heard this before. They're like, Levi, you have an old soul. Like I'm a younger guy. I mean, I'm 33, but I have an older soul because I was around old people a lot. So I heard the way they talked, the way they moved, the wisdom that they had, the phrases that they used, the way they treated each other. Like the most successful relationship I grew up watching was my grandparents. I didn't see my mom get remarried until I was like 14. And by the time, by the time I was 14, I was, I was horrible. Because they didn't have a father in the home. So they more, act more masculine. So more mentally ill kids? I'm saying that the things that you... Andrew's cooking. <laughs> more mentally ill kids? I love Andrew, dude. He's so good. He is so good. He's so smart, man. And I don't know if you guys ever watch Andrew Wilson. You definitely should. Go sub to his channel. Um, the dude is absolutely ridiculously smart. Like one of the best debaters, I think of our of the modern generation right now. Um, Who the hell he sent gives me pictures? Like, he gives me like Christopher Hitchens vibes. Like it, the dude is seriously super smart. The problems that you have with feminism are it's because we're getting farther from the patriarchy, right? Yeah, and it's leading to really bad outcomes mm -hmm. for everybody, including the women. How did you lose your virginity? Was it a good experience? Bad experience? Wow. I, had a, I had a good. That's experience. That's really personal. Is it? You shouldn't ask questions like well, that. I'm okay. That. Yeah, it was with my first boyfriend. He was really yeah. Where's he I'm now? Where's he I'm still dating him. Three oh my god, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Almost that's actually years. fucking dope. Wow, that's actually, yeah, wow. You never see a girl that's lost her V-card to a dude that she's still dating, so kudos to her. Yeah. You guys gotta get, wow, the look man. at Wow. See, look at that. Hey, applaud. Applause, man. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. That. I was yeah, about to say, you, you know, honestly, that's the dream right there. Yeah. Hopefully I'll end up like you guys one day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh. You might not, time. though. I might not? Probably She's not. a hater, bro. You can tell. See, this is, this is why I tell Cass this all the time. You got to be really careful with the women that you spend time with. This is why girls trips are not a thing in this household. Because the thing is, most of the time when you go on girls trips, you're going on girls trips with other single women. And single women like to keep women single. Misery loves company. So you're going out and you're hanging out with all these girls. Let's say it's five girls. One of them's married, four are single. You think those four are going to try to influence our girl? You should leave him. You could do better. Blah, blah, blah. Like, like immediately this girl right here has already had negative energy. And that's a really personal question. This girl was totally open to talking about it. She showed, her, showed off her ring. She immediately started shaming the guy. Yeah, you'll probably never get that. Like, these women are bitter. Like, happy for this girl, but she doesn't want... The thing is, people want you to do well, but they don't want you to do better than them. You'll learn that as you get older, man. People want to see you win, but they don't want to see you win more than them. This is why I'm a firm believer of giving back as much as possible. I've had a lot of success on YouTube recently. I've been working with a lot of my homies that are doing social media. I've been doing like master classes and trying to help out as many people as possible because I don't want people to think I'm arrogant. I'm very thankful. I try to be as humble as possible because I know that energy is going to come back to me. Karma is a bitch and she bites back hard. So you better be giving out the energy that you want to get back, bro. I know. Why not? We're, we had because really my great boyfriend first is time. like top tier. Like. He's top tier. Yeah. True. What makes him top tier? Give us some qualities. He's the best boyfriend ever. Why? See, and you just don't see modern women talking about this about their men. I love seeing this stuff. I'd explain why. Because he listens to me. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. He does everything you want, right? It's a really hard thing for guys. So what, I wouldn't he listen. Is. Are you saying Ooh, that I'm not? Kidding? It's giving trauma. Stupid. People of listening to somebody. Um, <laughs> she's I mean, like, most guys, well, first so. of all, you're shorter. She's also like six too, or maybe this guy's five eight. I don't know. Better than me. Okay. Okay. You know, like that's all. 
Well, who said I'm going for you, though? Huh? Who said I'm going to go for you? Obviously, I want to go for you because you're taller than me. I mean, like, well, I model, so, like, a, a lot of people. I model, so... Okay, she's losing points now. I'm not a huge fan of the, the chauvinistic. And she's like, look, I'm here for the party. She likes the shame of the men. This is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. I don't get where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, like, what do you do for a living? What? Who is the most... Why, <laughs> Shame, insult, guilt, and evil. What do you do for a living? This guy could be like a really popular YouTuber. Oh, you gotta love it. She she was so good in the beginning, but she lost me in the end. Evil villain in any of the movies that he's in. Jenny from Forrest Gump. How could you say that? She's the most evil character. Bro, Jenny is. She went out. What she what she do? She got AIDS or something like that and came back. Was like Forrest. I want to give you a second chance. And he's like, I'm not giving you a second chance. I, I waited. I waited for you, uh, Becky. But then you and Alan got ran. Like. You can't make this stuff up. Let's see what Charlie Kirk got to say. Interesting. This, okay, prove this it to me. Yeah, I never woman, liked her. Think about this. Forrest is chasing after Jenny, Jenny in elementary school. Then it goes to high school. They go to college. She says no, Forrest. The entirety of his life, he's chasing after this woman. And then... One day, I got a letter from Jenny. Yeah. She saw me on TV. He's rich, and she's dying. And then she finally comes around to it. Well, if even there's worse not than that, then she allows thing. him to meet his son, his of son. which the namesake. Yeah. The Sixth Sense kid. And he, she kept his son from I see him that for people. that many years? I cannot think of a more evil villain in a movie. I mean, and I haven't ever thought about it, but he's kind of got a point. Damn! He's kind of got a point. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Ginny in Forrest Gump was actually the protagonist villain in the movie? I don't know, man. I, she, it got me rethinking. I always thought there was something fishy with Ginny, though. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. I always thought there was something a little fishy because, um, you know, it's really hard when you're a... Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Like, Jenny was a single mom. Kept his kept the son. Was was the son in Forrest Gump his son? I thought, I thought she had a baby by somebody else. Or was that his son? And, and did she have AIDS in the movie? Bro, I can't even remember, dude. It's been so long since I've seen... Uh, Jenny, life is like a box of chocolates. I haven't seen that movie in so long. And Jenny from Forrest Gump. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Female romantic fantasy is the darkest genre in the world. Like, if you look at masculine fantasy, it's like a guy beating a bunch of people up to save the girl. And if it's sexual, it's a girl with big boobs and a big butt. Or multiple <laughs> girls with big boobs and a big butt. We get it. But female <laughs> fantasy is dark. You got the billionaire sex god who falls in love with the average innocent secretary, and she's the only woman in the world that can tame him. And then you got the girl who chooses all the wrong men and just makes all the wrong decisions in her life, but then there's always some guy that's willing to do anything for her. That's like the girl from Twilight, The Notebook, Forrest Gump. Heck, even in Naruto, Sasuke tried to kill Sakura and she was still trying to okay, glaze that man. Place. And then you got straight place. up somehow justifying oh, infidelity. Like the Titanic is a horror story for everybody except for Rose. The entire movie is about a woman who's engaged, mm -hmm. who has like a place. two day fling with the pool boy. Loki, go to your place. You want a carrot? This, this is what'll get him. You want a carrot? Wait. You got the hiccups? You sleeping too hard? Free. Free? Free? You don't want the carrot? Go to your place. Get the carrot. Go to your place. He's so tired this morning, dude. He loves carrots. Don't ask me why a dog loves carrots, but... And instead of giving the ring back because she realized she doesn't want to be with him and she cheated on him, she keeps it for her entire life and then throws it into the ocean as a tribute to the guy she had a two-day fling with. I'm telling y'all right now, the most evil content in the world is female sexual fantasy novels and movies. Let me know in the comments below. I mean, I don't know. Would you consider, what is a, the notebook? Is that one of those? Or is, um, what's the other one? For Fifty Shades of Grey? Is that female fantasy stuff? Like he said, the rich billionaire guy falls in love with the secretary. She's the only one that can tame him. Like, don't you find that a little suspicious? I don't know. It's a little odd. Th this whole Jenny thing for Forrest Gump kind of threw me off. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I had never even thought about it that way. I was always like, Jenny's for the streets. I just thought... She belongs to the streets. I just thought Jenny belonged to the streets. I just knew that she wasn't like... Forrest Gump was, was real... He was a good guy. He went, he served his country. He came back. He was a good dude. Started a shrimp boat with like his best friend. Like an overall, like really good story. Forrest is a good guy. But then Jenny comes to try to pick up the pieces at the very end. You're like, I don't really like you, Jenny. I never really liked Jenny, but this makes so much sense. 
Let me know in the comments. Do you think Ginny was actually the villain protagonist in Forrest Gump? I don't know. We'll see. Don't forget to like the video. I think it's like right around here. Like the video, please. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 20K subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Mad love. 30K around the corner. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.